Hello there viewers, hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing great because I'm playing Farming Simulator 22. Now that the shenanigans are over with the intros and everything else, let's start actually getting this grass up. I don't know why I keep going back to swath mode. But somehow, even in swath mode, this just seems easier to actually contend with. Two swaths going into each side of the actual wind rower. It's just fabulous. Picking two rows up at the same time. I've actually been away from this series for a little bit. Had enough to actually uh, cause a uh, bulk effect to occur. And I do believe I had to swap out one week with a different series. Oh. And it's not because of my driving. It's just because there's a lot actually happening. This is the third climbing simulator series that I'm doing and miraculously all of them at the same time have got me doing grass work and it's put me in a situation where I'm like do I really need to do this is there a purpose in me doing this my try to think of doing something else and the answer is no that's how it's come about I haven't planned all three series to evolve around grass work at the same time heck one of them is new the contractor series I didn't know the most expensive contract paying out at the time was going to be grass work. Let's actually get you to go f inside yourselves so I can turn. There you go. So I don't hit the trees. Can you go over? Yeah. And then press X again it takes a long time for them to actually move I can actually position myself but I think I should have gone down the middle first to be honest now I'm going to actually uh, probably hit the bales at the bottom but anyhow yeah that's how it's occurred oh I can't help that occurring to be honest, I do believe the valid old farm is just coming away from the grass work. I do believe I need to pick up the last bits of the bales and that's it. Then it should be getting into the harvesting. And that should be the wheat field. And then I can actually change one of the grass fields, or both of them, into an arable field. This one, I've got to pick up the grass from here. And then across the yonder, I've got to turn that into hay. And then pick that up. And then, I do believe is just me waiting for the rye I do believe boy is planted in the one field that I've got I don't know as of yet what I'm actually going to be doing with my money I wouldn't mind getting a load of sheep because last time when I had them it was fantastic the sheep were growing up nicely, thanks to the straw, but well, I fed them. 
The water is thanks to the water tanker. And that's it. Once they actually hit a certain age, I sold them all and got a bit of a profit. Then I went into chickens. All the chickens are going to actually do for me is to allow me to have another source of manure. And that's it. So they're not going to be sold. They're just going to be left to their own devices. Pigs, on the other hand, I'm just sorting out at the moment. I've got over Tanner's open air gardens, which is sorting out all the actual feed that I need. Vineyards are actually going nicely. I do believe the pickles are just being sold straight away instead of uh, being fully developed and stored. Alright, let's just put you there. Go. And not to hit you. Sorry about that. Let's get this wrapping done as soon as possible. And I can actually get everything off the field and into storage. And of course, I can actually fertilize the ground afterwards. Press Z for auto unload. So how many bells are here is exactly how many bells this field is going to give me each time. So it was actually properly cared for, so I don't have to worry about that. And whilst that's occurring, let's have a look at our rye field, I do believe. Next page, rye. Yep, it is rye and early stages, so... That's going to take some time to actually look after and deal with. And the pigs actually need the nuts. Go down here. So the chickens need grain and root crops. And this series is just kind of a laid back series. It's going to take some time to actually complete this series it's going to take a long time to actually deal with all of its devices and get to understand it properly because at the moment I'm only working with a small production because the vineyards are really small I'm not going to get much out of them I need to be working with a massive fields worth of vineyards and I can't quite do that yet fortunately greenhouses are actually good to actually mix up and resupply stock because that's the actual feed for the chickens but it's only 50% now the other 50% is coming from the mixer. Which we all know has a limit on the products what actually get put into it. That's why I have got a bale chipper, which will just cut up all the bales and send whatever bale it is to the appropriate area. So let's have a quick gander at it now. So this is the mixer. So I haven't got any sugar beets at the moment, but they are growing at the same time. So that's why they're there. And then 
here i do believe i've got no compost but if we go all the way down i should be able to come across this and this is actually grown off from straw but it should be getting straw from where are you the bell chipper ah run out of straw sorry the bell chipper needs straw and then they can dispute it across the yonder that's why it stopped then all right then i just have to look at the other means of creating compost it's always go really to be honest i have got rye grass which i don't know what the heck it is and then alfalfa and yes i'm working with alfalfa at the moment so how much do i actually put in there don't know i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and then this will be the temp silage one so let's get you like that and then let's have a look at you six thousand liters all right okay then where is you're there waiting to do that. I need the trailer. And then I can actually pick up the alpha alpha and get the compost working. Or whatever production needs it. Tunnel production is going on and I'm got time to collect it and deliver it to a certain point so that's why i'm using productions which actually distribute things across each production so that is ooh, one there you go that's six twelve Two more, twenty-four. Thirty-two. Two more, and how many have I actually got left? Because I would like to actually make money from the silage. All right, two more, and that should be probably enough. That's 29%. Ooh, all of the actual trailer. Right. Can I at least get the bottom row done? How long does that leave me? One, two, three, four. I have to. Right, that's it. Right, let's get this started. The reason why there's a swap mode in place because I was thinking about just doing half grass and half hay then I changed my mind at the last minute so I have to hayalize the actual swath I wonder if that's a word but it's not and there we go oh boy oh boy going over your actual work wise doesn't really feel that great to me to be honest like i've done a massive mistake gonna have my planning so far has not been correct for this map not at all haven't even got into the actual ins and outs of this blooming map properly like the resin and the forestry work 
the land is so expensive as well. I might need a load to actually get another piece of land. I haven't really thought about that, really. Getting a loan and then building a vineyard on it. Massive one. Bigger than what I've got now. Destroy everything what I've done so far for the actual vineyards in the greenhouse area and have it in a massive field. But then at the same time, I'm like, well, don't I need another big field for crop? Which I've got one of. Not a winning solution, is it? Only have one field to have cropping at a time. I need something more than that. And these trees are screaming out to me and all. Like, chop me down, because it's nice and straight, and I don't have to do a lot of work to actually cut them down and get them in a straight piece. This is peaceful. That isn't peaceful. Forestry work isn't peaceful. And I need fuel. Okay, well, this is now done. I don't know how they, uh, Information mark come on. I want you want to bet the dude's crashed somewhere. Won't surprise me at all. Right, so let's just park here, drop you off there. See what I mean? This whole area is just like out of bounds for stuff. So I can leave stuff here. All right, let's have a gander. Oh, you've actually made it. Awesome. Right, now. Let me see which one I seek. I do believe it is this one here. Where's your... Ah, there it is. Am I right? I am right. So let's just deactivate you, because I know I haven't got you. Wood, let's just deactivate you for the time being. I've got enough tree bark. So let's deactivate you. Furniture, you've got enough planks. Okay, so that's fine. You've got enough sugar beet. Alright, I need to get soybeans into the ground quick as possible right but yep yeah, that is the uh, one what i need so let's go ahead and get it inside wonder what that bit's for is that just for the compost right so Let's reverse and reset everything there. And there you go. Good. Right, where am I? There I go. Nope. This time I'm going to actually use the forks. I don't normally actually use the forks because it seems strength and time. And people find it ten times easier to do this than what I would. So there we go. Hopefully that is all four. 
and can't lift that many. Um, go on. Yes, finally. <laughs> Let's uh, get on all fours. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, I need a way. So, you know what? I tried, I really did, and I ain't got time to waste. So, there we go. Let's get you here. Right, there you go. This is the last one. And this will be the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. As usual, remember, I appreciate you all, and you'll see me in the next one. Bye.